Hey guys, just got in the car, <laughs> going to Woo! the Peace Garden for the first week of the implementation. Yeah! Good morning, folks. <laughs> it is UFGA implementation day one. Woo! Oh my god, the van. <laughs> <laughs> they almost got in a car garage. Uh, the van is loaded. We're ready to go. We got bagels. Thir 48 of them. 48 bagels. Tools are in the back. Yeah, team is ready. <laughs> What are you guys doing? We're digging. <laughs> nice. Are you having fun? Yes. yes. You're on camera. What are you doing? We're cutting a tree without the way. We're trying our best. <laughs> Two hours in, how do you feel? I feel so good. I'm really proud of everyone. I think we're still going. My fingers are swelling, so I'm taking my rings off. That's what I'm currently doing. But I'm, I'm really happy. Look at the team. We're going. We've dug like probably half a foot today, deeper than it was before. Clearing out the dirt, got some dumpsters from dumpsters.com. We're doing well. <laughs> Talk me through the plan for what's going to go in here. Uh, so we're leveling the soil right now and then we're going to build a form that goes up against this concrete that's already in place. Okay. And then we're going to lay gravel and then a layer of sand, level that, and then we'll pour the concrete in. Awesome. How is it going? How is the garden box? It's going well. It's exciting to see it all be put together finally. Oh, look at it. It's big. Wow. What have you been working on? Um, right now we've been working on just leveling the area for the greenhouse so that we can hopefully tomorrow put the um, concrete flooding in and hopefully start from there. How's it going? Great. It's going great. We just got some uh, gravel and sand down. We're getting ready to pour some concrete. What's going to go right here? The cistern, the front cistern. <gasps> Fun. First you got a four, a four inch four thick concrete slab. That's right. Hi Matilde. How's it going? What are you guys doing? We are putting the cinder blocks on the thing for the cistern. Ah. I use a lot of really good terminology. <laughs> awesome. So we're starting out with two layers of cinder blocks. So we're going to be putting some quarter and some gravel, and then we're going to be laying these cinder blocks right here on top of that, and then our system right on top. <laughs> Laura, do you want to explain what's going on? Well, we are batching uh, the last batch of concrete uh, for the footing. Yep. Um, we're not sure that we have enough concrete uh, mix, so we're, we're uh, improvising, adding some aggregate and some mortar mix to make a little bit larger mix for so this is mortar the, mix. Remaining, uh, the remaining piece of the pudding. Thanks. Yeah, I think it makes it oh, ever so barely. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a, give you a quick tour. So we're four feet wide, the entire way of the path, ten inches down. Next steps are going to be leveling, um, and then we're going to be putting down the aggregates and leveling that as well. Then finally pavers. How do you feel? Path is all the way dug. Jerry, how do you feel? Tired. Britta, how do you feel? I'm feeling good. Tessa, how do you feel? Great. Great. Then. Uh, not quite ready for the next steps. Okay, okay. Saying I can't watch. I can't. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> 
concentrations of this material in the middle where it's flat versus places where there's going to be a lot of water sloping to it. Got it. Yeah. Um, What's up? Um, I'm hungry. <laughs> so it's one thing at a time. But it's a lot of moving, a lot of moving pieces. We have permeable pavers that may not be permeable right now. So we're fixing that. We have greenhouse that might not hold air in properly right now, so we're fixing that. Um, yeah, field engineering, you know, best part. garden on the way out of town said goodbye because that'll be the last time that I, I go to the Peace Garden. Well, it's not finished. Um, we're about halfway done now, um, but it just really, really stinks that I'm not going to be able to see the project uh, to its completion. Megan. I am digging up the ground where the peace sign was. Um, we're going to redo it, but move it over a little bit. So I'm trying to get all the creeping Charlie out while I can. <laughs> How's it going? What have you been doing? Pretty much learning how to carpet. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty, it's going pretty well though. Nice. Like I wouldn't, I didn't think that it would happen so quickly because I wanted to do it in the past. Uh huh. But I'm glad to be able to do it now. Awesome. What are you doing at the garden today? We're just filling in rocks. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Okay. We have a lot to move. <laughs> How's it going? Well, good. Today. Yeah, how are you feeling about everything you've seen at the garden today? Ooh, I am feeling excited. I'm feeling overjoyed. I'm feeling um, hopeful. Oh, and good. Um, yeah, I'm just like energized by the work that's happening here. Yeah. She's got plywood on this side. I don't know which wall it is. This is the north wall. North wall. So it's the one that's going to go right there. And then we added in, what are these called? Purlins. Purlins? Yes. We added them into this wall. Yeah. That's the south wall. We learned how to do a toenail drill yeah, today. Yeah, we learned how to do a toenail drill. <laughs> Jeff was very helpful. Yep. And that's about it. <laughs> Yay. Well, here.
Garden box is done. Should we get a little close up, some shots? Um, it's wheelchair accessible. Um, it has a height of 22 inches, so it's not as aggressive for uh, people in wheelchairs or just older people who can't like be on their knees the whole time while gardening. And Campbell, do you have anything to add? I don't know. I think it's a nice box. <laughs> Audrey, what are you guys getting ready to do? We're getting ready to paint the wall. What color did we choose? We chose purple because Melvin's favorite color is purple. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Laura and Jeff are mixing paint. Yeah. Very exciting. Doing the honors. Look at that. How's work going today? That's great. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing right now? Um, we're laying some bricks down, but now we're over here. <gasps> What's been the most challenging part of working in the garden? Um, definitely figuring out how to deal with all the unexpected things or the things that are more difficult, like all of the curves that we have so many of. <laughs> I'm stoned. That's that actually, I changed it. That's number one. <laughs> Busy at work. Messia, how's it going? Good? Having fun painting? <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Robert Manalni cleaning up the dust. <laughs> and over here we have Maya and Detrell and Coda and Mason and May. Working on the beam. What are you doing? We're testing the rainwater gushers this uh, week. I'm so excited! You've <laughs> come true. Oh, uh, we have to get a lot of it. Yes! May do the honors. Woohoo! Our collecting water. <laughs> Yay! So fun! Hi everyone. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? Going great. Just finishing up the back. Sydney, what are you doing? Laying one of the final pavers here on the front. The last full paver. Oh, yeah. Hi everyone. Um, welcome to our final garden tour. So it's going to be a little rundown of everything we've done this past summer um, and this past year as we designed everything. So here you can see the pathway. Um, this, these are permeable pavers and so you can see that there's like a quarter inch gap between them and that allows the rainwater to drain through. Um, and all of the rocks underneath are, there's like 10 inches of rocks underneath all of this, um, has a holding capacity for that rainwater. And then if you keep going, some other things we worked on, we totally changed the route of this pathway. So it used to go all the way through here, but we changed that up because so we also built some new garden boxes. So this one we redid. Um, and then you see another one over here, and another one there. That kind of has like two beds in it, um, the trellis, vines. And then over here, we redid this peace sign and worked on replanting it. So all the marigolds are flourishing right now <laughs> and we just basically lifted up the peace sign put some more rocks underneath just so it's more stable it doesn't sink with the weather um, we go through here we also have another garden box that we built um, and this one has a u-shape to it 
so that's more handicap accessible so you're able to roll in here if you're on a wheelchair for example and you it's everything's within arm's reach um regardless of where you maneuver and so that's been a pretty cool addition you can see some stuff growing in here we have some tomatoes um very cute very nice and then if we keep going we have more of the pathway um he levels all this ground out so it's more of like a, and so that the uh you can use it as like a common space um for different events that they have uh here you have to come like the cleaning walls for the dirt um to keep it from pouring onto the pathway over here is super exciting we have one of our rainwater catchment systems um and so this big tote we was donated to us um and we hooked it up to the gutter system over there so it collects a bunch of rainwater closer you see that we have rainwater oh it's a <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> and so yeah, that's there. And then we also um, built this platform and everything to go with it. Over here, you can see a nice bench and more retaining walls just for like landscaping for the garden. Um, and then if you head on back here, this pathway kind of wraps around. Um, and this wasn't totally here before at all. Like this was used to be basically a concrete slab. Um, and so back here, Continued the pathway, still permeable, and then we have our greenhouse. Um, and so this was built with just wood and polycarbonate and a lot of time and energy. Um, and it looks pretty grand. I can open it up for you. Um, but we have nice polycarbonate walls and the structure for it, and then a heat shield on the inside. It's the roof. <laughs> And the framing. Um, yeah, and then over here, oh, um, we also have our second rainwater catchment system. Um, if you don't have that over, that fence there. So that's a little rundown of everything we worked on this summer, which has been super exciting. There's still a little, few little things that we're going to work on um, during the year to clean things up. But for the most part, all the structural pieces are done.